Welcome back, gems. My name is Diamond, and if you do not have your glass ready, go get one now, okay? I have my glass. We got some tea to get into, okay? I have a lot to talk about. We're gonna do a little chit chat, and I might as well just get a little, a little refill right now. Hold on. Fuck a bam, and I walk and I talk like a pimp, cause I am. Alley boot front say, tell my pussy, hey, come. Fancy top, and me head and never wait. Stormy Daniels, head from the head of state. Hey, hey, me, me, make it clap on his face. Hey. All right, so I have my refill. Hopefully, my dog does not act too crazy while I'm trying to record this video because I don't got time. <clears throat> he was already acting crazy in the last video. If you do not see part one, please go back and watch part one. It will give you a breakdown as to why I'm here, what my process was like when I got here. Um, and yeah, it just gives you the background story that you might need, but you probably don't. Uh, I need my hair done again. We're gonna get into these hairstylists too. Okay, we're gonna talk about it all. First and foremost, thank you to everyone who has watched part one. Thank you to people who have commented and reached out to me. I really do appreciate that. Like, I'm not like a full-time YouTuber. Like, I'm really just doing this for fun. But y'all just giving me that, that, that strength that I need, you know, to just keep going, to keep recording, keep giving y'all information. And I'm just glad that y'all are even here for it. Um, if I could reach out to at least one person who was taking this information in, I really do appreciate that y'all like I'm so humble like you don't even understand but and now we here for a little bit of fun okay now of course I've only been here for like four or five months um this is just my experience like don't bash me okay I'm pretty sure it's a lot that I still do not know but this should be fun okay <laughs> again if you don't have your drink get your drink because you don't need it My allergies are starting to bother me. <laughs> like, now that I want to record the video, they want to start bothering me. So, we might as well just go into the first topic. Like, I wasn't even going to talk about this first, but it's calling me right now. So, this weather, baby. Hold on now. Bruh. This weather is literally bipolar. Like, everybody's like, are you ready for this Texas heat? Where is it at? Because I'm cold right now. <laughs> literally one day it was like 90 degrees. It was like blazing hot. And then the next day it was like freezing cold. And it's still cold. And like, it's, it's thunderstorms after thunderstorms. Bruh, <laughs> my allergies are kicking my ass right now. <laughs> my allergies have not even been this bad when I was in Philly. Like when I was in Philly, my allergies is like seasonal hay weather allergies, okay? Like your regular type of allergies. And I will be able to like take a Benadryl or like a Claritin and be okay for the day. When I came here, that literally did nothing for me. Like, it was so bad. Like, I'm not the type that's like high, like dramatic. Like, I don't typically call the doctor, but I had to hit her up. I'm just like, miss, like, I need a FaceTime ASAP because nothing is working. Literally, that I took a pill and it didn't take away none of the symptoms. I was still sneezing. I was still watering. I was coughing. Like, my allergies is on 10. And she was like, have you tried um, Flonies? And I'm like, no, I'm really not here for shooting anything up my nose. But like by that point, I was ready to try anything. So I tried that and that was working. She was like, you may have to do both. You may have to do that in the pills. Like, bruh, <laughs> nobody trying to be out here popping pills and shooting up their nose. <laughs> Like, that's too much, okay? And my allergies were so bad, they was giving me a headache. Like, it was literally on 10. Um, I was not expecting that. 
and the thunderstorms, they happen a lot. They happen typically at night. So it makes it hard to sleep, it's so annoying. The wind be crazy, like it be lightning and thundering all crazy. My dog does not like that. So he be wilding like, <laughs> like just drawing, I'm just like, all right, like it's just thunder, it's just rain, relax. But the thunderstorms are crazy here. Um, I took a clip, like I want y'all to see what this looks like. Like, and this happens often, like often, like it should not be raining like this. But when it get hot, it get hot. So I know for sure when this Texas heat come, I will not be ready for it. <laughs> I will not be trying to wear makeup. So besides the weather, I mean, I do love it out here so far. It's only, I don't even know what date it is. <laughs> it's only May and we still got, you know, June, July, August. So. This heat is coming, honey. It's, it's coming, it's coming. When I'm not working my two jobs, I am taking care of this crazy behind dog and going to the gym. Shout out to Untitled Fitness Lab, okay? They over here getting me right, the hottie boot camp. <laughs> but no, seriously, the gym is lit, okay? I filmed it on Instagram and black wounds, uh, black, fully just black excellence everywhere okay like I was not expecting it it kind of what made me fall in love with the gym and the energy there like the energy is always lit okay like they play the right music I don't know why they always playing Meek though <laughs> they always playing Meek Mills I'm like y'all playing this because I'm here besides that I mean if I'm by myself it's either that or I'm like probably shopping. So gym, shopping, and then everything else is like work. And then I'm just trying to like relax for the week because I really get time off. Like I rarely... Let me tell you all how I met friends because I honestly did not think that I would come here and be able to meet people so quick. When I say that y'all really coming through with the Southern hospitality, yes like I really do not believe in it like I met this girl who claimed it was southern hospitality she was trying to get me she gave me nothing but shade <laughs> literally she was rude to me I'm just like didn't you say you was from Texas I didn't get that energy and that's, that was before I moved to Dallas and I'm just like I don't believe in none of this southern hospitality BS they talking about but anyways I came here and these people were nothing but nice to me, nothing but welcoming. And I appreciate everyone who has shook my hand and met me because like I was really a nervous wreck. I didn't know how I was gonna meet people. I'm low key shy. All right, high key, I'm high key shy. <laughs> Until I get to know you, I need to warm up and get to know you and then I'm like, I'm like myself. But I was like, how am I gonna meet people? Basically what I did, let me tell y'all the story, okay? What I did was, when I came apartment searching, the other goal besides finding a place to live was finding some friends. Like, I need to meet people, right? Get some numbers, some Instagram names, something. So, um, me and my friends, when we came down, we was club hopping and stuff. And the first night I came and we went to the club, it was low-key a mess. So when I first got here, we went to the club. I do not remember the club name and I really wish I remembered it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, the Clermont twins were there that night. So I figured, you know, if it's gonna be like social faces there, AKA the Clermont twins, then it might be lit, you know what I mean? Like people might be going out because like, oh, Curry, my twins will be there. They ain't real celebrities, but like, at least they would bring some type of crowd in, you know what I mean? And it was crowded, but the energy there was weird. Like, it was really weird. I can't describe it. I really can't. It was just like, it didn't feel right. I didn't feel like that was the lit club to go to. So, anyway, we just gonna try it again tomorrow cause this ain't it. <laughs> I wish they was here to tell you like what it was like, but that wasn't it. Like the music was weird. 
when I say the music was weird, it was really on some Texas shit. <laughs> they was really on some Texas shit. Like I didn't, I didn't expect to come and hear that type music. And I really can't describe what what that type music is without playing it. And for YouTube reasons, I'm not gonna play the music. But. But one time I was in a club, I was in a club and you know it's weird when they start shouting out Louisiana. Like that may be something normal here, but for me, for me coming here from Philly, you shout out Louisiana. <laughs> for me, it's random, okay? Like for people that live here, it's probably normal. But for me, I'm just like, I'm like, yo, where did I, where am I? Where am I right now? Cause this too much, it's, it's too much. It's Philly don't play that type of music. Um, but yeah, like we was like, all right, we're gonna just try again tomorrow. And so we did. It was starting to become a bust again. <laughs> like we waited outside this club. I Again, I don't know the name of the club. We went to a different area, wait outside this club for literally, it was like two hours and it was playing. It was not trying to let us in. And it was like, yo, what's going on? Like, and the only reason why we waited that long because we ain't nowhere else to go. <laughs> we did not know where else to go. So we was talking to these people that was in line with us and they were from New York or New Jersey or something like that. And they was like, well, we did go to this club, you know, yesterday and it was pretty cool. So if y'all wanna go there, we'll just, we'll meet y'all there or whatever. So we go there and that was called Clutch Bar um, in Uptown. So we go there and it wasn't as lit, like as like crowded, like, like lit that way. Um, but when we got in line, some dudes, it was like, hey, yo, was like, you, 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 you know, come on, let's go. And he told the bouncer, like, yo, I want them to come in. And he was like, yo, yo, I want y'all to come to my section. He was like, all right, cool, you know what I mean? Like, we'll come in your section. And so we was chilling with them. And <laughs> I can't tell the rest of the story how I want to tell it, but <laughs> just know I met some friends and I took their number to their Instagram. Like that was the only time that whole weekend that I really like got to really mingle with people. And I am still in touch with one of them. And he hit me up on Instagram. Like, yo, when you come back out here, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm coming back out, da, 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 get my information. And he had me mingle with some of his friends. And I met them beautiful ladies. They are amazing. And went to the club a few times since I've been out here in Dallas. But yeah, that, I mean, that's how I initially met friends out here. And that's how it started. And I met a few other people on Instagram. Like Instagram is a powerful, powerful, powerful drug. And if you're not using it right, you're doing something wrong. I found the gym on Instagram. I found people on Instagram. Like you can find literally everything on Instagram if you use these hashtags right. Marketing 101, but y'all ain't ready for that. <laughs> y'all not ready. I'm not trying to ramble too much into like my personal stories or whatever because I'm like a horrible storyteller but that's how I like started to meet people and again amazing amazing people like everyone has been so welcoming and I love them for that thank you so 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 much um but yes that I mean that's that's it with like how I started to meet people we gonna get back into the social scene because there's a lot more I want to talk about but let's talk about the cost of living out here okay everybody keeps saying it's so much cheaper out there i mean i really don't feel like it's that much affordable out here i don't i'm sorry no um i feel like the rent out here like for an apartment it is more an affordable side 
Um, let me see, I gotta do some research. 